Denise Williams, welcome. Yes, thank you. So thank great you. to see you. What a great event tonight. Yes, it is. It's wonderful. I uh, came all the way in from Las Vegas because a dear friend of mine is being honored tonight, Edna Sims. Oh, yeah. And I said, when she told me about it, I said, I have to come <laughs> in and stand up and... Right. You know, for my buddy. I'd say let's hear it for the boy, but I guess we're going to say let's hear it for the girl. <laughs> That's right. Tonight it would be let's hear it for the girl. That's yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. How did that song change your life? Oh my gosh. I remember um, everything was great. You know, I had hits of my own, yeah. hits with Johnny Mathis and I did Too Much, Too Little, Too Late. But, you know, everything was kind of calm. People were nice and friendly, and I could still go with my kids and stuff. Let's hear it for the boy came out. And I remember uh, my mom and I were in my car and we passed by a high school that had just let out. And I get, they had seen the video yeah. on MTV right. of Let's Hear right. for the Boy. Okay. And we were swarmed. And my mom and I, both of us panicked. It's like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> so things did change. I mean, it was wonderful um, because I had the R&B artist uh, audience behind me. And then with Johnny Mathis and I, we went all the way to, you know, top five with the pop number one with too much too little too late sure. and then to turn around and get this young M MTV audience it's it's been an incredible journey for me with yeah. the music incredible MTV just kind of put music visuals in everybody's living room it did it Every, did everybody you could go from not knowing them to recognizing their face the next day. That's right. It changed it changed the industry a lot and yeah. it was wonderful to be a part of that, you know. Now, so it did change a lot. Yeah. When you came up, who were your greatest heroes? Your musical inspirations to guide you on this path? Well, the people that I listened to were actually my mom's heroes. And I used to sneak into my mom's bedroom when she wasn't there. She had a record player and her record collection. I learned standards by listening to Jackie Gleason Orchestra. He did a lot of oohs and ahs with the standards. I sang along with his orchestra. I loved Ella Fitzgerald. I loved, wanted to be like Nancy Wilson. You know, when I grew up, I, I loved Lena Horne. My, one of my favorites all time was Doris Day. Anything Doris Day sang, uh, Secret Love, any of that I loved. Ed Townsend, just a whole plethora of different people. The Supremes growing up, you know, definitely all of the Motown stuff. Uh, watching Stevie Wonder on television when I was 10 years old and then ending up working for him for three and a half years as a background singer. So I, I, I kind of think of myself as a, a combination of a lot of people, a lot sure, of folks, sure. yeah, yeah. Now, working around Stevie, obviously, you know, he's a visionary without vision. I mean, yes. what did you learn the most about that spirit that he has? Um, I think the biggest thing that I got from Stevie is poetry plus song. Uh, plus music equals song. And because I was writing poetry in school, but I wasn't connecting it to music. When I got around Stevie, I, I figured out or I found out that I was a songwriter. It was the poetry plus the music that equals song. And it was incredible. And also, he taught us to be fast on our feet because Stevie would have a set and then he'd get on stage and get creative and get to writing. And the band, the musicians, and the singers, we'd have to be on stage and ooh and ah like we knew what we were doing and a lot of times we didn't have any idea, but it taught us to be fast on our feet, it taught us to be creative and that was the most exciting part for me with him. Now I feel a resurgence of soul music coming. Yes. You know, music has gotten so computerized and all, there's a real yearning for the real voice yes. coming back. Yes. Why is it so important to keep soul music alive in our world because I think it's the music definitely that goes to the heart mm -hmm. you know that goes to the heart of things I mean we we ha when you have the song ain't too proud to beg mm -hmm. you know or you, <laughs> yeah. you know dancing a hundred times oh my gosh or, or just the doobie brothers or mm -hmm. Genesis you and had all of this music that was pure music analog not digital and not auto-tune I hate <laughs> <laughs> I hate auto tune. I think it's yeah, so. We need the robot. You, you know, we thing. we need the real thing. I think it goes to the heart of the people, and I think that that's the reason why artists like myself are still on the radio 45 years later. You know, 
I can hear, I turn on the radio and I still hear me, I still hear my peers on the radio. And I think it's because it, we did music that went to the heart of it. You felt it. You felt, you got hope. You knew that love was all right. You know, it was good. So I think that that's the reason why it has lasted and will continue to last. And it's timeless. You hear this it's song, timeless. it brings you right back. It's, it's timeless. My very first single is still on the radio. And it, it, it's amazing to me because I never ever thought it would do what it's done but um, I'm appreciative I love it still having a constant touring schedule it's so amazing. it's all good it's all good well thanks so much for coming out and that's yeah. the head in. everybody's yeah. been honored tonight. I'm excited for her and everybody that's being great honored to great to see you too take great care so alrighty bye bye